welcome to D-Lab's Tech Tips. Today, we're going to troubleshoot a malfunctioning standby circuit in a National 300 receiver. Here we go. All right, I'll demonstrate the problem for you in case you have the same thing going on. So here's your receiver. We're just going to go white noise, okay? I don't need an antenna connected at this time. When you key your transmitter, it's just like flipping this switch into transmit. It should mute the audio and also reel back your RF gain. Okay, so if you had a signal, you'd normally see your meter dive down, audio would quit. But here we go. So you can tell it did pull the RF gain back like it should, but still have audio. That should be gone. It's not. So we have some type of a leakage path to the audio output tube. Let's take a look at the schematic. All right, if you have an NC300, follow along on your schematic. I have my print out. Here is the standby terminal board on the back, which would go to your Dow key relay, okay? Mute side is not being used at this point. The jumper is installed. If you follow standby up, you'll see it goes through that transmit receive switch on the front panel, and there's this 10K resistor. So when you go into standby, this 10K resistor actually goes in series with the RF gain control. So if you follow that line down and around and over here and through that switch, whatnot, you should see approximately 10K to ground when it's in standby, okay? Then you follow this line up and it goes to the cathode resistor to the 6AQ5 output tube. And there's a cap here strapped to ground. So R52 is actually your bias resistor setting the current for Class A operation through V10, okay? So that opens at the same time that the RF gain gets the 10K resistance in series. So this pulls your RF gain back, and then this line, which comes down, actually raises right off ground, so you should have no current through the 6AQ5 tube. Well, it appears we do. So let's take a measurement from pin 2 to standby and see what's going on here. Okay, I got the NC300 on the side so we can see the back of the standby terminal strip. Got an ohm meter set up at 2K max. We're in receive on the front of the NC300, so let's check resistance to ground here. A little bit of corrosion. There we go. That's what I'd expect to see. It should be grounding it out at that point. Now, I'm going to go to transmit, and that should go up somewhere around 10k if you look at that schematic right I've got about 260 ohms not 10k now, there's no way that this resistor has changed value that low it'd be like a crispy critter so somewhere else we have a low resistance path to ground and that is why the 6AQ5 audio output tube is not shutting off all right, let's look a little closer. All right, pretty tight quarters here, guys. Right up there is the base of the 6AQ5 tube, okay? So the pin that goes to the cathode is right there, pin two, which goes to this 220 ohm resistor, right? Look what we got, okay? I'm right on pin two, I'm already shorted, okay? Remember we saw 260 something ohms? I bet you, flip our switch, there it is. There's what we're seeing is that resistor. Because the other side that's going to the 6AQ5 is shorted. That's why the 6AQ5 is on pretty much all the time. <laughs> so, first question is, is it the tube? There he is, I just pulled him. Let's check it again. Nope, we're still shorted. The only other thing going to that pin is this yellow wire, okay? If you follow that yellow wire, let me pan up the camera and show you where it goes. So there is the yellow wire, and it goes to section three of the main filter cap. And looky there, we're shorted, okay? I'm gonna remove the wire off the cap here, and let's see if our short goes away. So I'll just clip the wire off the cap. The wire is now disconnected, right? So if this was a good cap, you sure wouldn't see that. 
Yep, section three has shorted on the main filter cap. So what I'm going to do is go down right on the 6AQ5 pin two and I'll put a replacement 22 microfarad 50 volt cap at that point. So it's super tight working in here. I've had to do this on a couple NC300s. I don't know why that section of the cap fails. There's very little voltage on it, okay? But anyway, this is way too tight for me to show you guys the details, so after I get this installed, I'll cut back. All right, there is our new little 22 microfarad cap installed down here in this hole, right? It's quite the job. Let's go back to our standby terminal. I'm in receive, so we should see continuity to ground, right? Now, let's go to transmit. Look at there. I'm on the 20K scale. We're seeing our 10K resistor. All right, let's power it up and see if it's muting properly now. All right, here we go. Same test, just white noise. I'm in the receive mode. Look at there. Dead nuts quiet. NC300 is ready for action again. What a great tech tip.